Hello everybody. I'm in Whitefish, Montana, taking a little stroll down by the river. Ooh, looks pretty chilly. Not a good day for a swim. Anyway, so um, today I'd like to talk about uh, where I'm at and how it might affect people. And um, and uh, just to bring a little uh, colorful insight and hopefully an uplifting message to anybody who happens to live here or anybody who plans to visit here. So now if you're in, uh, hold on, eh? I'll try to sneak by without uh, an entire mauling. <laughs> awesome. So anyways, what I want to talk about is if you live here or if you're involved with uh, people who travel that are coming here, there's a couple points I'd like to make. And that um, when people come to the Flathead Valley, uh, whether they know it or not, they're going to be receiving rejuvenation and restoration and, um, you know, healing on a couple different levels. And um, in the first place, um, for more practical reasons, um, when you come to the Flathead Valley um, for your vacation, for example, a lot of times people are going skiing in the winter or making a trip to the uh, park in the summer. So in doing so, um, you're getting automatic therapy just by coming here. Okay, so um, just pause my conversation occasionally if there's somebody coming along. Anyways, um, you know, if you're somebody that's coming to go skiing, you might be on vacation, but you're having an active form of relaxation by going up on the hill. Um, people are going to get some good exercise. Um, it's good for your circulation, activating your body, make yourself a little stronger. But at the same time, um, it's fun, you know. You don't really think about it, but you're actually getting yourself some really good therapy. If you come out here in the um, summertime and you go to the park, um, you're getting what we call earthing. Um, that's when you're just exposing yourself to the elements of the earth outside of um, the, the, the man-made construct. And this way you can just absorb pure oxygen in either case at any time we're talking about either skiing or hiking you're um, improving your oxygenation and then by going out into nature um, it helps to uh, it helps to restore your energetic body so the earth has an energetic field and um, and we respond to it directly so some of the stuff we have in uh, man-made areas um, is actually creating a disconnect between us and that energetic uh, influence from the planet. So, um, anyways, uh, another thing I want to add might be a little bit far-fetched, um, but if this makes sense to you, I'm going to share this. Um, so there are five major vortices called the Golden City Vortices, and um, we're supposedly in one of these vortices. And... But the one we're in pertains to um, spiritual mastery and healing. And so when people um, coming into this valley, they may get exposure to the energy of this vortice, which could be very good. So this may attract people that are spiritual people. So that might be mean that there are people in the valley right now that are spiritual people. But then again, um, so when people are coming in to the airport and to the train station, if you're involved at the... Uh, at the gates there if you're in that building and then if you're out working a shuttle service and then if you're in hospitality if you're running a gift shop um these are all opportunities to contribute to a person's um uh spiritual experience here in the valley so um so what we're doing is well, we're creating reality by the way we communicate with other people Okay, so if people coming into the valley and we treat them like, uh, you're not from around here, we don't take kindly to your type, go back to California, yada, yada, yada. Uh, the reality we're creating is bringing us closer to hell. You know, we're making people quite unhappy. But if the, the reality we're creating one where is one where you're saying, hey, welcome to our valley, we're very happy to meet you, how can I help you? We're creating ha a, a reality that is bringing us closer to heaven. So, so if you're living in the Flathead Valley, you're in a really good place to help create heaven on earth. Now, can't do it overnight and we can't do it all at once, but person by person, moment by moment, opportunity by opportunity. Um, when we're coming in contact with each other who live here, we're inviting um, travelers from uh, all parts of the country, all parts of the world, 
uh, what we want people to be left with is an uplifting experience. So anyways, with that being said, the Flathead Valley can be a very magical place. And if you can understand these things, we can create heaven on earth right here in our little bubble. And as you know, people that live in the Flathead Valley oftentimes live in their own little bubble. And, <laughs> and uh, so I'd like to share this concept out so that way anybody who knows me personally, anybody that's in the business of hospitality, or if you're just taking care of other uh, locals, you know, um, that we're here to create heaven on earth, whether uh, heaven exists or not, depends on your definition of what that means. Um, heaven, whether it exists or not, whether it's a fairy tale or not, um, is really the best potential reality that we could possibly create. And so, with that being said, you guys have a great day, and hopefully I'll have another another positive piece of insight to share. Thank you very much. If you're paying attention, I'll talk to you soon.